Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Add Stamp tool that appears in the Annotations panel within the Comment pane in the Task pane is used to place a stamp into a PDF page. Acrobat comes with several preset stamps that are commonly used in business, such as stamps for approving a document or indicating where a user needs to add a signature to a document. You can also create your own custom stamps if needed. To add a preset stamp to the current PDF page, click the Add Stamp tool in the Annotations panel of the Comment pane in the Task pane. Either select a favorite stamp shown in the top section of the drop-down menu, or roll your mouse pointer over the stamp categories that are shown in the second section of the drop-down menu, and then click the stamp to use in the side menu that appears. Note that the Identity Setup dialog box will appear and prompt you to enter your identity information if you haven't entered that information already and are using one of the dynamic stamps that contain user data. Then the mouse pointer changes to reflect the selected stamp when you place it over the PDF page. Click anywhere in the PDF page to apply the digital stamp. To add a stamp to the favorite stamps list that's shown at the top of the drop-down menu that appears when you click the Add Stamp tool, select the stamp to add to the favorites stamp list within the drop-down menu. Then immediately select the Add Stamp tool again and select the Add Current Stamp to Favorites command in the drop-down menu that appears. You'll then see it appear in the Favorites section. To create a custom stamp from an existing image file, click the Add Stamp tool, roll over the Custom Stamps command, and then choose Create Custom Stamp from the side menu that appears to open the Select Image for Custom Stamp dialog box. Click the Browse button to find the image file to use for the custom stamp. You note that you may need to use the File Format drop-down in the lower right corner of the dialog box to select the type of image file to view if needed. After finding the image file, click it to select it, and then click the Open button to return to the Select Image for Custom Stamp dialog box. Click the OK button in this dialog box to open the Create Custom Stamp dialog box. You can choose to add the stamp to one of Acrobat's existing stamp categories by selecting one from the Category drop-down, or you can type a new category for your stamp by typing a new category name into this drop-down field. Then type a name for the stamp into the Name field. Ensure that there is a check mark in the Downsample Stamp to Reduce File Size checkbox to ensure the stamp is not too large. When finished, click the OK button to create the custom stamp. You can also create a temporary stamp from the contents of an image file you have copied to your clipboard to create a one-time use stamp in a PDF. To do this, copy the image file you want to apply as a stamp using your default image editing software on your computer. Then click the Add Stamp tool in the Annotations panel and then select the Paste Clipboard Image as Stamp Tool command. Then click into the document at the location at which you want to stamp the copied image file. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.